What's up, dudes? Shoot, got to on the V set 10 plus, ripping around on this thing. Really, really love this scooter, guys. I just don't really film enough on it, but I really enjoy this thing, and I think it definitely is a lot of fun. And these things are great right now, especially with the way gas prices are. Um, if you don't have one of these just around the house for when friends come over, even if you're in your electric unicycles, um, I think these are great to have. I think you would have fun on it, and I think that people that don't know how to ride electric unicycles that may come over to your house or either you know the wife or kids you may be able to get them interested in like going on rides with you and stuff if you get one of these and they're only they're only 1899 bucks shipped to your door from rev rides and if you use the code chooch 50 below just like it says below then you get even you get 50 bucks off of that as well so I think it's just a great scooter all in all and I'm going like 52 miles an hour on it down this mountain right here I rode it all the way up the mountain I was able to go about 45 to 47 miles an hour going up this really steep grade right here and then I just whenever I came back I just was cooking I was literally just peeling probably like I was averaging about 52 miles an hour on the speedometer right here all the way down to like 45 like in some of the corners but it was going fast guys and this is a really steep um road i'm coming down i'm coming down from the, the top of the rocky mountains just whipping down a road and i was going fast enough to keep up with traffic i really didn't have a problem uh coming back with cars behind me or anything like that um and i mean motorcycles were going just as fast as i was going down this road which is i mean it's blistering fast on 10 inch wheels it's, it's a lot of fun it is scary um and i don't have a steering dampener on this on this um scooter i've kind of gotten the way kind of gotten the feel of it to where i'm confident with it it is a 10 inch wheel and it is you know a, a tall stem and everything like that you kind of have everything kind of working against you with high speed riding as opposed to like a motorcycle but it really you can get used to it you can get confident on it i really think that um it's all about how much time you ride this thing and the best way to get more out of this scooter guys by far is just get um when you buy the scooter get another charger because the charging on it is the only thing i don't like about it the only thing i don't like about this scooter is it takes a long time to charge with one charger but if you just get two chargers you can charge twice as fast and that's just one thing you got to do because you'll be able to get way more time of riding out of this thing there's literally two charge ports on the top of it just spend the extra money and go ahead and buy another charger literally use my discount my truth discount that 50 bucks right there it'll save you uh, fifty dollars and then you can basically get a charger for ten bucks if you if you use the discount so the chargers are sixty bucks just go ahead use the discount and you can get basically a charger for ten dollars and then you can get so much more use out of the machine because as if it takes forever to charge it if you're just using the single charger it comes with what I do or what, what I'm gonna do is um, I literally asked rev rides for another charger because I was gonna mention it in this video um, just get two of the chargers and like literally duct tape them together and just keep them together all, at all times and you just have just plug two of them into the ball and then put them at, on this thing and you're basically rapid charging at that point that's the be best way to do it straight up just duct tape them together or i don't know stick them together somehow and just keep them always together and just always dual charge and then you're good to go but other than that, I put new handlebars on this thing, and it offered a lot more stability, guys. So these are just rigid mountain bike handlebars. And before I put these on here, it was so unstable, simply because there was so much unneeded weight on top of this thing. And it, once you put lighter weight handlebars on it, like even if you put like carbon fiber handlebars on this thing, it would make it so much better. And I have the the, bar, the bag on this thing right now because I did have a, uh, a bottle of water with me whenever I came up here to ride and a tripod and all that. But the best way to do it for the maximum stability is like carbon fiber handlebars and no bag on, on the stem, no more weight than is necessary. And then you'll be able to get this thing almost to where it, it tricks around like a little trick scooter. And... It re you'll notice a huge difference. The more weight you can shave off the handlebar area going up, whether it be lights, batteries, extra accessories, the more of that you can take off and just have simple carbon fiber bars and nothing on there, the better it's gonna ride. I understand you need lights sometimes. You need uh, a place to put like a water bottle and stuff sometimes. So that's why I have the bar bag on there. You can take it off if you need to. 
but I put some uh, Vicious brand grip tape on my deck and I love that. I don't think I would be able to ride it as good as I do without that Vicious grip tape that I put on the deck. Um, that, that's a really simple mod you can do. And then, so handlebars, grip tape, and that's pretty much it guys. So this thing is a really, really good piece of kit. For the $1,899 that you're spending for it, you're getting a good scooter. You're getting a great scooter that can go a long way, definitely a long way on flat ground. Um, in the mountains like this, it's just, if you're riding it like I am, up hills and all that stuff, you're not gonna get the same range you would to, as you are in the city on flat ground and whatnot. But it's fast, guys. It really is 50 miles an hour on this thing. Um, it's quick. It really is fast. And it's, um, it's fun too, man. I love the dual drive. The dual drive is what makes these scooters just, it, it makes them fun now. Because if you're having to rely on just a single, single drive motor on the back, it's just so much force that things having to, to push along and drive. It just never felt right. So if you've never experienced a dual wheel drive electric scooter, um, you just, you're in for a treat, man. It's going to blow your mind. It's, it's something else, how this thing just grabs and just, just goes. Like, it's, it's incredible. Coming from a dirt bike background, I would never imagine having something like um, two wheel drive like this on, on two wheels, but two wheel drive. And it's, it's so much fun, man, and especially off road. Um, you can ride it off-road fine with the street tires, but I, I do have some off-road tires I'm going to put on here soon, but I just want to want to roast these street tires off this thing before I put the um, uh, off-road tires on it. So I've been doing a bunch of power slides and skids and all that stuff and having fun with it, you know, until, um, until I wear these tires down, I'm not going to switch them out. But as soon as I wear them down, I'm going to, I'm going to put those new off-road tires on there so y'all be able to see it with those. Um, it should be soon. I've been power sliding this thing a lot, and I love it, man. You can whip this thing. Once you get the power slide down, dude, just grab a handful of back brakes, and this thing can literally, I'm talking, I've stepped the deck out, like, where it power slid in front of me, basically. But you can hold on to it. Like, once once you do it a few times, you get to where you can trust it. Like, you really trust locking that back brake up and just sliding, whipping that tail around. And um, it can be scary sometimes because it'll whip man it'll go you will slide like crazy on this thing if you're on the right surface but do it a few times and you can hold on to it you'd be a, you'd be amazed what your body gets used to and what your mind adapts to when it comes to controlling the scooter right here and it's uh it it's really is cool because there's just a lot to learn and a lot to adapt to over time it's way different than a motorcycle a skateboard or anything like that it's so much fun in its own way but anyways, if y'all want to pick one up, this is the V-Set 10 Plus right here. You can get one. Link's below. Takes you to Rev Rides. I greatly appreciate it if you use my link and then use my code Chooch50. Anyways, Ben Chooch. I'll see you dudes in the next one.